Good day, teachers and students. Speechify is a Chrome extension that was built to help us listen to text. It's used by many people, those who need help reading, those who want to read text more quickly, and those who prefer to listen when they learn. Let's start with a demo so that you can see what the extension does. Later on, I'll show you how to add it and begin using it. So as you can see, Here's the extension right here up in the top of my screen, Speechify, and then it basically floats around your screen once you install it and start using it. If it's in your way, you can just pick it up and move it. It always tells you how long it will think it takes to read the entire document at the top here. Here's your play button to, to start listening. Chromebook accessibility tools. All of the Chrome access. Here is your speed control. And when you click on it, you can see that you can read much faster if you want to listen faster, or if you need the reader to slow down so you can understand it a little bit better, then this is the way to slow down, is to go less than 1.0. You can choose different readers. The screenshot reader, I'm going to show you how to use that in just a second. On a Google Slideshow, it works exactly the same as it does in a Google Doc. But when I press play here, it's going to try to read all the way back from the beginning of my slideshow. So the solution to that is to use this button right here, which is your screenshot reader. Use that, make a box around what I would like it to read to me, which are the directions. Each for group our test. creates a travel itinerary for a two week virtual tour of their continent. The itinerary should include. And it is reading to me. To end your screenshot reader, just click the escape button on your keyboard. Next, we will look at a web page. So here we are on Wikipedia. You can see it is still floating on my screen. And the other thing that happens is once it's there for a minute or two, it doesn't come right up, but once it's there for a minute or two, you can see as I move down, a little play button appears, and that is Speechify asking to read for me. Archaeologists believe that Stonehenge was constructed in several phases from around 3100 BC to 1600s BC. With a and there's my pause button over there in my draggable panel. Sometimes you'll get on a web page and you can see here it doesn't recognize that there's text. And again, your solution to that is to use the screenshot reader. So I'm just going to scroll down to the beginning of the book here, get my screenshot reader, and begin listening. He was an old man who fished alone in a skiff in the Gulf Stream. So Speechify is a little hit and miss on PDFs. I actually recommend that if you need to read a PDF, you use the built-in text-to-speech tool on your Chromebook. Um, it lives down here if you turn that on in your accessibility tools, and it will let you do this. One, biology. Speechify does work on PDFs, but it opens it in the app and it requires a lot of extra permissions. So again, it's just not my recommendation. It just takes a lot of time that you don't need to spend. So what if you don't want Speechify floating around on your page? Whenever you don't want to use it, there's a little X at the bottom of the toolbar that will just let you close it. It will ask you, do you want to turn it off, you know, just for this page or turn it off everywhere, meaning I want to stop using the app now. So that's your choice. To start using the app again, here's the extension. Click on it and it will bring that play button right back up for you. Now that we've seen how it works, let's learn how to get it. First, you need to visit the Chrome Web Store. The easiest way to get there is to go to the launcher, which is the circle that's in your taskbar. The Web Store is right here. It has an icon that looks like a little shopping bag. Once it loads, go ahead and search for Speechify. And your next step is to add it to Chrome make it one of your extensions. Click Add Extension. You will see it download. And I'm going to close out that tab and show you a different way to get going with it, which is the first thing you want to do is go, go to your puzzle piece and it's here. We're going to pin it so it lives up here where we can get to it easily. And then we're just going to try to turn it on and then it'll say sign up or log in and you do not already have an account so you do need to click sign up. 
this is where you can do continue with Google and that is how you should sign in. Continue. Once you get here, you'll see that you have a basic account. Um, the upgrade to the premium features costs money, so you don't want to do that. You just want to have the basic account. You are ready to use it, so you can actually close that tab, and we'll go back here to the article on whale sharks that we want to use it for. Click on it, and it's ready to begin using. Thank you for watching. Remember, be brave, be kind, and do good work.